to NFL Network, the Patriots want to keep Tom Brady in New England and are willing to pay him at least $30 million per season. They reportedly believe that he has, quote, one or two good years left. This would be a change for the Patriots, who never paid Brady more than $23 million a year. So, Shannon, does this make you think Brady will stay in Foxborough? I don't, because I think the damage has been done. I think... Um, the interview that he gave last year, Skip, that you referenced a lot, was very telling in which he talked to Jim Gray about his appreciation, his, uh, his love, uh, and he spoke like, mm, after all I've done, I'm having to have this conversation. That was actually now two years ago. Two years oh, ago, okay. yeah. You're right. Um, yeah, it, it was, I think it was after the loss. Was it after the I think it was after the loss to Philly, yeah. Oh, um, and Skip, it's like the Jimmy G might have been the final straw. Yep. Uh, that broke the camel's back because he's like, after all I've done, you still, all the pay cuts, all the giving you leeway to come and go, and I never say anything about the talent level that you have around me. I just, I'm just a good sh soldier. Mm -hmm. And you still, you want to replace me. Skip, I, I think Brady's mind is made up because, here, because at the end of the day, he goes back. We're still in the same place. Who gets the credit? Mm. Brady knows in order for him to get the credit that he deserves, somebody has to leave. Well, it doesn't look like Coach Belichick is going. He has the opportunity to leave. Skip, and, and, and I think now this, the reports are saying 30 million, in excess of 30 million. It's kind of like being in a relationship. And you've had every opportunity to do the right thing. Mm. And at the very last minute when she says she's leaving, trust me, I know, um, you're like, okay, this is what I do to keep you. Mm. You're like, Shanna. I made up my mind. You go. And I believe that's what's going to happen to Tom. I believe that's what's going to happen to the Patriots. Um, Skip, sometimes, you know, when people feel they've been wrong for so long and you've had every opportunity to correct it, to write it, and you don't. Hmm. And at the end of the day, who's this? I think Coach Bel if, if Coach Belichick were to say, Tommy, th this sounds like Mr. Kraft doing. Again, pulling yeah. another power play, yep. which I believe Coach Belichick will not be too happy about. Mm. But I don't see it, Skip. I think the damage has been done. And um, I do believe Tom Brady is playing elsewhere next mm. year. So you and I believe what ESPN wrote two years ago, that Belichick was prepared to go forward with Jimmy Garoppolo as his starting quarterback. Yes. And that would have started in the 2018 season. So it would have been 2018 and 2019 with Jimmy G. Mm -hmm. If that is true, and we both believe it is, then it had to be Robert Kraft if we believe this current report that, that he's been offered in excess of $30 million, right. That had to come from right. the Krafts. Right. Correct. Robert and his son right. Jonathan, right? right? Mm -hmm. It could not have come from Bill Belichick. Correct. It could not have been blessed by Bill Belichick <laughs> because why would Bill suddenly flip and say, Oh, yeah, I saw plenty from Tom last year that makes me want to go sure. forward with him for two more years. After you've only, the most you've ever paid him is $23 million. Yeah. Now you're willing to jump in his 21st season to 10 plus 13, 14 million more than you ever paid him in year 21. Okay, so we also concur that they both, excuse me, both earned the right to go forward and show one or the other, Without I can do this mm -hmm. by myself. Correct. And if that's true, then, then Tom's going to look at, I, I'm going to have to live with that man again if I go back for 30 plus million right. dollars. And I, look at the football team. Help me out here. <laughs> I, I'm looking at a below average football team. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very good last year. Especially offensively. And that's what Tom Brady needs. Tom Brady needs weapons now. Okay. At this juncture, Skip, he can no longer elevate the lesser tier talent to the upper echelon I got level. It. Cause Rarely have we seen anybody who could do it. In fact, I don't think we've ever seen anybody who could do it the way he could do it. Right. I will give you that. He's not quite that guy anymore. But this was so below average that even he couldn't lift it much up from where it was because Julian Edelman was on his last legs and he got beat all to hell. Mm -hmm. He had three big things wrong with him. He did have offseason, which was it, shoulder surgery. And Julian Edelman led the National Football League in drop passes last year. That's your number one receiver. I, I raved about Nikhil Harry at Arizona State. He did not live up. 
Maybe I was wrong. Maybe Belichick was really wrong because we saw a bunch of receivers get drafted after where we all said going all the way down to Debo. Yeah. Right. Well, would they have been better with Debo last year? I'd yeah. say. Well, right? But Skip, maybe let, let, let's 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 hold out on on, on uh, Nikhil Harry. Yeah. Let's see yeah. if he can he, come he only to OTA. Plays the last eight right. games. Let's see if he can get to get to camp, get out of camp healthy, and okay, start fair. fresh. The defense. Everybody's saying it's on a historical pace. To your credit, you said, I don't know. I, I, they're not really playing anybody. So it was like the early Cowboy offense this year. Right. They haven't played anybody. As they began to play somebody, it started to go way south because right. it looks to me like mostly a bunch of average cogs that, that he would unify into a collective whole. Yeah. He's, a real, he's obviously one of the great defensive minds in the history of the game. Right. But other than Stephon Gilmore, who actually had a couple of bad games at the end of the year and still won Defensive Player of the Year. Mainly in Miami. Okay, he had a bad game against Miami because he got roasted all the way home in right. Miami. It was at Foxborough. Foxborough. Like. But the point is that y you look at this defense and you say, well, okay, Hightower and, and, and yeah. Dante. There's I mean, not a whole lot of pieces no. that you're like, man, I got to have that guy other no. than Gilmore. Okay, pass rushers? No, because no. Trey Flowers was the stud of a year ago and he right. went to Detroit. Right. Well, show me one. Show me somebody where you trust that guy. So Brady's looking at the defense saying, can you really just snap your fingers and make it that much better right. than it was? And offensively, the weapons are Sonny Michelle, who sort of tailed off last year and was in the doghouse part of the year. James White. And, and James White, who's got, starting to get up there in years. And who? I, I don't know. Because Dante Scarnecchia is probably the greatest offensive line coach in the history of the game. And he retired once, and Tom took a beating in 2015. And then he came back and kind of saved the day, right. and he is retired again. Right. And I'm going to guess this was, this was for good, good right? Yes. Okay, so Brady's got to know, wh where, where am I going with this <laughs> offensive line? Exactly. Right? Yeah. And then he looks at the possibilities out there. I threw out the 49ers. I know they'd have to really close their eyes and plunge, but they could get out from under Garoppolo. Right. And you, you don't think he'd take the 49er roster over the New England roster? Oh, yeah, That's yeah, now I'm shooting yeah. the moon on that one. <laughs> would he take the Chargers roster over the New England? Yeah. You better believe he would. Wow. It's possible he would take the Raiders roster right now. It's possible. It's close. Hmm. Because there are a lot of pieces there, a lot of right. young pieces. Cool. Do you believe the Raiders are a quarterback away from a Super Bowl? Because Tom is looking at it like this. I don't. It's interesting. I, I don't like it at all. Yeah, I, that's the only way he can look yeah. at it. He has to look at it and says, there are a quarterback away. I'm the missing piece for them getting to a Super Bowl. Yeah. I don't believe the Raiders are that close. Okay. So you know, as we get closer to a decision on this, that he's going to sit down with Kraft, and I assume they're going to have to bring in Belichick. Yeah. And Tom, for the first time ever, is going to get to look across the table and say, convince me. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you're going to do. Give me your you're grand right. plan. Uh, I tried to replace you. What part did you yeah. get about that? Right. <laughs> I wanted Jimmy G. I wanted Jimmy G. But now Tom's going to say, well, who else do you want? Yeah. Right? It's, Who it's, are your free agent choices? It, that's here? the thing, Skip. When you have something and you you mess around with it and you tinker around with it, and you look up one morning and that other person says, "I, I I'm, I've had enough." It's, I mean, you you don't realize you something, Skip. Sometimes you just close and you just think, "Yeah, we winning," and you think it is kind of like like I, and I use relationships, Skip. We going we just going on vacations and we doing all this stuff. But there's some things that, that, that you should do that you know you should do. Mm -hmm. And you know you should say yep. that you don't. Okay. Well, Coach Belichick knows. I'm not saying, Skip, he had to go to take the man to his house in Nantucket. I'm not saying they had to go on vacation together. But there are some things that he could have said that he still could have kept Tom at arm's distance and not make Tom feel like, well, you ain't no different than Matthew Slater. And you're no different than Sonny Michelle. And you're no yep. different than, than the 53rd guy. I get it. You can treat them all fair, but you ain't treating them all the same. No. And Coach Belichick has gotten away with it for so long of treating everybody the same. And for a, a certain, a uh, large extent, I guess everybody's bought in. And it worked because yeah. he'll get on the, uh, the guy, uh, the offensive lineman or the D lineman that makes a mistake. Mm -hmm. He'll also get on Tom Brady if he makes a mistake. That is correct. But you, you, you just got to be careful. You got to be careful, Skip. I mean, you can't treat it. You treat everybody fair. And, and my, 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 high, my college coach used to say that. He said, I'm going to treat y'all all fair. I ain't treating y'all all the same. Huh. Mm. Interesting. So I'm going to give Belichick this. He did say, I'm going to go get Antonio Brown when it was clear he wanted out of Oakland. Right. Mm -hmm. And you saw what Brady did just one day in Miami with Antonio. It would have changed the rest of the year mm -hmm. because he is a transcendent game-changing right. player. We know about all his off the You're field. Right. Right. But 
Antonio continues to pledge allegiance via Twitter and Instagram to Tom Brady. He continues to say, wherever Brady goes, I'm going to go. So you have a chance wherever he chooses, other than New England, because that bridge got burned right. with that owner. But if Tom goes elsewhere and somehow Antonio gets cleared to play, which is probably a long shot, but you even have this right. in your back pocket of, you could add Antonio Brown. I don't know if you heard Commissioner um, about when uh, speaking about Antonio uh, Brown. He says, we want Antonio Brown to get the help that he needs. Yes. He, he didn't say nothing about no football he skip. He did not. No, I, I hear you, <laughs> but but I'm just saying, he, here's here's a, a great receiver who says, you know, he's not in. He played with the guy and caught balls in practice in one game, mm -hmm. and he's saying he, he ain't done yet, right? He, he's saying, I want to go where he goes because – uh, he can still do it. Yeah, he well, you might be done. He might not he, be he, done, he, but he, you he, might no, be done. You might be done. I agree. <laughs> so I'm with you. It feels elsewhere to me, even though it is surprising that Robert Kraft is saying, no, we want you here. Well, maybe if Tom goes back, maybe if New England take him back, maybe she'll take me back. What you think about that? Yeah, mm. it's too, really? a little too What'd late. Huh? A little too well, late. Well, you don't get it. <laughs> You're supposed to be helping me out. A little too late, Shannon. Sorry, I, think that, I thought well, that was a joke. We're so serious? You you did <laughs> predict this was his last year in New England. Mm -hmm. And so Robert Kraft is saying, Shannon, you're wrong. I, I'm going to show you different. Coach <laughs> Belichick goes to say, die. Uh, Mr. Kraft, you didn't have one of these. But as a matter of fact, the Blazers, uh, that the 100 they had on was this I color, like Skip.